Today we are learning how to find the perimeter of a rectangle. Let's say you're asked, what is the perimeter of this figure? Remember that perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape. So to start, it would be helpful to know the length of these two sides. Well, luckily for us, in rectangles, opposite sides are equal lengths. So we can see because this side is 5 feet long, it means this opposite side will also be 5 feet long. And because this side is 3 feet long, it means the opposite side will also be 3 feet long. Now that we've labeled our sides, we can start finding the perimeter. We can think if we started here, we would move 5 feet, 5, then we'd move 3 feet more, then we'd move 5 feet more, then we'd move 3 feet more. When you add up all this distance, you get a perimeter of 16 feet. Now let's practice one of these together. What is the perimeter of this figure? Well, let's start. What is the length of this side? Remember that in rectangles, opposite sides are equal lengths. So because this side is 4 inches, we can tell this side is 4 inches. What is the length of this side? Again, opposite sides are equal. So because this is 5 inches, we know this side is 5 inches. Now that we have all the lengths, let's find the perimeter. What will the perimeter of this shape be? Remember, to find perimeter, we can add up the side lengths. 4 inches plus 5 inches plus 4 inches plus 5 inches. When we do this, we get a perimeter of 18 inches. Here's another problem to practice with. What is the perimeter of this figure? Well, what equation could I solve to find the perimeter? We know because this side is 8 feet, this side is also 8 feet. And then because this shorter side is 3 feet, we can tell this other shorter side will also be 3 feet. So to find the perimeter, we could just add up the side lengths. 8 feet plus 3 feet plus 8 feet plus 3 feet. What will the perimeter of this figure be? When you add up those numbers, you get a perimeter of 22 feet. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What is the perimeter of this figure? Well, you can first fill in the missing side lengths. This side is 4 centimeters, and this one is 10 centimeters. The perimeter will be 10 plus 4 plus 10 plus 4. When you add that all up, the perimeter is 28 centimeters. Now here's your last problem for this video. What is the perimeter of this figure? First, we'll fill in the missing side lengths, 5 feet and 5 feet. Then to find perimeter, we'll just add them all up. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. When you do this, you get an answer that the perimeter is 20 feet. Today you learned how to find the perimeter by adding side lengths.